Marine mammals are at threat today more than ever. From climate change to vessel strikes to entanglements in fishing gear. The marine mammals are feeling the impacts more than many species. Every individual animal is important to the species. We want to make sure that those animals are given the chance to survive and thrive. Fortunately, we have solutions, and IFA is one of the leading organizations on the forefront of innovative solutions for these threats. North Atlantic right whales are on the brink of extinction, and it's so critically important that we act now. Entanglement in fishing gear is now the leading cause of mortality. The right whale has about five years before it becomes functionally extinct. Time is running out. We're working with technology companies and with the fishing industry to test and to adopt whale safe fishing gear. We have been making advancements with the actual technology through field testing both inshore and offshore. We're also unique in that we partner with fishermen directly on the ground to implement this new technology that we're trying to advance. In order to get the industry buy-in for this gear that we need, we need to center the voices and the opinions of our fishermen, and IFA has been able to do that. One of our biggest barriers when it comes to providing conservation measures for the North Atlantic gray right whale is knowing where they're going to be and when. We've started a multi-year research project with independent and government scientists on the chemicals that are produced by the prey of the North Atlantic right whales. So this chemical, called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, can be measured using water samples following right whales and measured through satellite imagery to help predict where whales will be. And when we're able to predict where whales will be, we're then able to put measures in place to help protect them. Entanglement in fishing gear is a leading threat around the ocean planet, but there are others. Marine mammal strandings are increasing, especially in this area on Cape Cod. Cape Cod is the busiest place in the world for dolphin strandings, with the most frequent strandings of any location in the world. IFAW responds to stranded marine mammals, providing aid to animals in distress. Some of our busiest years have occurred within the last seven years. Part of that innovation has resulted in IFAL's Mobile Dolphin Rescue Clinic, also known as MOBI. And that allows us to be able to respond to mass strandings of dolphins, assess them, treat them, and transport them to a release site. Over 12 years ago, we started temporary satellite tagging. Satellite tags have allowed us to release single-stranded dolphins back into the environment where before the common thinking was that those animals needed to be euthanized. So it's giving those animals a shot at life. Over the years, supporters have allowed us to be able to purchase and tag over 148 dolphins so that we can track their behavior post-release and make sure these animals are surviving. In many cases, we see animals that would benefit from more time of treatment to give them the best chance at survival after release. Faced with this problem, IFAL has innovated again and is proposing a new pilot project called the Cetacean Intensive Care Unit. This cetacean ICU will be the first of its kind in the world and looking at completely new ways to provide care to animals during strandings. This will be a huge endeavor that's never been attempted before. It'll involve staff and responders supporting these animals around the clock in the water to provide them the care they need prior to release. Marine mammals are an incredible part of the biodiversity of this planet. They play a critical role in the ecosystems and health of our oceans. If we want to continue to try to reverse climate change, we need to conserve our whale species. And we can start with the North Atlantic right whale, since they are the most at risk. It's vital that we do so if we want to sustain and protect 
all species who depend on a healthy ocean, including our own.